Hi there. My name is Cooper Metzler, and I'm here to introduce the technology that is known as Hawkeye Innovations. Before we begin, I would like to show you a video of the 2014 All-Ireland Hurling Final between legendary rivals Kilkenny and Tipperary. In this match, it came down to one final play, a stoppage time free that will be taken by Tipperary's own John Bubbles O'Dwyer, and this free will be taken from about midfield. Now, watch and see what happens and how Hawkeye Innovations forever altered this match. The All-Ireland Hurling Final for 2014. It's John O'Dwyer. Bubbles, they all call him. I think he has the distance. You know, please behind him. I think it's certainly he'll be able to get the distance if he strikes a boat. With a minute of injury time gone, he strikes it away. He's So Hawkeye is going to determine whether that's a hit or a miss. Is it a score for Tip? Right. It's right. It's right. And what a fantastic, what a fantastic call by the umpire. As you can see, a call that was tried to be made by a referee's naked eye was not nearly as powerful as Hawkeye Innovation's instant replay technology. In 2001 at Roke Manor Research Limited in Romsey, England, engineers David Sherry and Paul Hawkins invented the technology that is now known as Hawkeye Innovations, and they also own the patent for this technology as well. Later that same year, it was used as a cricket match between Pakistan and England to track the ball tra trajectory at Lord's Cricket Ground, and although it was just a test match, it was an excellent opportunity for Hawkeye to get a chance to show the world what they can do. One year later, at the BBC Davis Cup, which is a popular national tennis event, Hawkeye tested their, their electronic line calling there and sh gave the world another opportunity to show them what they're made of. A year after that, it was used at the first ever major, uh, which is known as the Australian Open, for the very first time. So how this technology works is it's a two component system, which is a tracking system with the camera and speed gun, and also a video replay system that tracks the data through that speed gun, which the first part is used to accurately depict the location of the ball, and then the second part shows the ball location coordinates and transmits them to the replay crew, which makes it a lot easier for the referee to make the right call. And all of this happens through the process of triangulation, which is shown here at the top. And this is a process of finding a location by measuring the angles between the point and other points, which are already fixed. So other Hawkeye systems that have proven successful in sport are goal line technology, which it was actively used in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. And as you can see here, it is used to depict if the ball went through the goal or not, and it did not because it did not cross the white line, as you can see. Electronic line calling and point detection systems are both used in tennis to declare a point for one athlete or another. And then the broadcast enhancement and simulators are used to track future progress in sporting events. Hello, my name is John Fandor. I'm here to talk to you about the strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities of Hawkeye Innovations. It has been used in cricket and tennis for nearly two decades, and has proven to have an accuracy rating of 99.99%. This helps officials eliminate human error with balls that they can't see with their own eye. Here in this picture, a tennis ball that usually travels over 100 miles per hour is being pinpointed on the line. This call cannot be made most times with officials. It is shown in the past to have errors and proven now with technology that they use today. This also improves coaches and the players' ability to watch and understand in real time film so they can make mid game adjustments. A weakness of Hawkeye Innovations is how expensive it can be. 
It ranges from 60,000 to 100,000 per quarter due to the technology and cameras they must set up. Another weakness is it's not 100% accurate, as a ball does have funky spins when it comes off a racket or a baseball bat. This sometimes can mess up the technology and they can't judge how this ball is spinning. Another weakness is it opens the door for more possible scrutinization of officials as it can challenge their integrity of making calls if they keep getting it wrong and they're being overshadowed by a camera that is pinpointing them down as a magnifying glass. Here are some opportunities for Hawkeye innovation. The European technology is already having an effect in the USA, being used in the NHL and the MLB to track the puck and baseball. This shows that it can also be spread to other sports, such as the NFL, where officials are already being scrutinized for missed calls. An example of this is the NFC Championship game, where Drew Brees threw a pass to wide receiver Tommy Lee Lewis, in which he was interfered with by Robbie Coleman, cornerback of the Rams. This was a potential pass interference, and fans all over the country were in uproar about it. Later, this mistake was confirmed by the NFL officiating crew saying that the pass interference should have been called and it probably would have sent the Saints to the Super Bowl. Hawkeye technology can track that in live time and can help the officials as the NFL replay system is not quite up to date that Hawkeye can be used. Other opportunities of Hawkeye innovation is it give, the technology gives coaches, players, and fans the ability to interact deeper with stats that could be misleading to them. On. Hello, my name is Trevor Tucker, and today I'll be talking to y'all about the threats and benefits of Hawkeye Innovations. Their main threat is their competitors. Their main competitor is Fox 10. Fox 10 is a technology company that uses lasers, unlike Hawkeye, who uses their triangular system. This makes Fox 10 a little bit more accurate. Fox 10 is also cheaper because they are able to take less cameras at each event. Fox 10 uses real images and a real ball bounce, unlike Hawkeye, who calculates where the balls hit and creates an image. This proves that Fox 10 can be more accurate than Hawkeye Innovation. It was also announced a little over a year ago that at Women's Tennis Association would have Fox 10 at each of their tournaments. If this is proven successful, this could open the door for Fox 10 for other sports. Also, a few of their other threats is future competitors. Some of these include ID Grove and Bus Shift. These are up and coming technology and marketing companies that could prove to give Hawkeye its run for the money in the future. Some of the benefits of Hawkeye Innovation is that it is used today in 20 sports worldwide. Some of these sports include cricket, tennis, soccer, and baseball. It also is beneficial in officiating, live production, broadcast enhancement, video content management, digital, and coaching. It also is beneficial because it has a replay system called Smart Replay. This stands for Synchronized Multi-Angle Replay Technology. This enables marketing teams for each team to clip off key moments for games and post on social media afterward. So casual fans who weren't able to attend a game or watch the game can watch the highlights. It also allows competitors to challenge calls, such as in the MLB where there are 15 camera angles, and these are all operated by each team to ensure they make an informed decision before challenging the call on the field. It also provides TV matching officials with all angles of an incident. This enables complete control of all broadcast leads and enables quick and accurate decisions. One. In conclusion, Hawkeye has plenty of opportunities to grow, but competitors could limit the success of Hawkeye if they do not improve their technology and lower the prices of insulation in the future.